Hello, my name is Michael Evans, parish priest at present at St. Helens in Barry. I've been asked to say a few words about Advent, the joy of Advent, or what Advent means to me. There was a priest from Ghana, which most of you have know, Richard Azarati, and his favorite phrase would be peace and joy. And I suppose this is what Advent is for me, peace and joy. When I was teaching in London in the 70s, in the hall of one of the schools, there was a silhouette of a pregnant woman. No words attached to it, just the silhouette. And I still think about that as nearly 50 years ago. And that's, I suppose, what it's all about. That pregnant woman, the time of waiting, the time of preparation, that in time, yes, she will give birth, then that peace and joy will become a reality in our lives. As I speak, turn on your TV, read your newspapers, and there's great fighting and anger and murder, mayhem, in what we would call the Holy Land. And one of the great things I think about Advent is the readings of that wonderful man Isaiah. I'll meet him one day. When you think of it, that he wrote those wonderful words, he took words and painted pictures with them. And he tells us that in time, spears and will be turned into pruning hooks and there'll be no more war on this mountain. You know, it's, it's mind-blowing. If only those people who are at warfare there would listen to those words of Isaiah. Please God they will, and maybe that will become a place of peace and justice and reconciliation to all peoples. As you look down at, on the sanctuary, by the end of the day, I hope to have the crib there. And some say, what are the crib? It's not, no, no, it's not Christmas, I know. But it's the emptiness of the crib. And I try to emphasize to people that's the emptiness of our inner selves, our souls, our communities. There's something lacking, there's something missing. So that time of preparation is preparing ourselves for the coming of that child. So Advent is a time of peace and joy, but it also has got a kick to it. The second coming of Christ. If we do any of my funerals, you'll hear me talk of my old man. He was a bus conductor. And when I buried him, I said, Dad was on an early bus, I'll be on a later bus. But I don't know the timetable. Simple but true. And it does make us think, or it should make us think, of when Christ comes the second time. Not as the infant. Everybody wants to hold the little baby, but maybe we're afraid of his second coming. We shouldn't be. He's a friend of ours. He knows us better than we know ourselves. So may this Advent be one of peace and joy and stillness, that if we can prepare our inner self for the coming of Christ, it will make ourselves and the world a better place. Happy Christmas. <laughs>